off you go. Go on then, don't wee on me bubble wrap. Hello there, and welcome to an extremely hot office. Um, it is later on on Monday. I made a picking orders video earlier, but I wanted to make another video and talk about the auction that we held here on this YouTube channel on Sunday. It was a bit of an experiment for us, and we didn't really know how that would work out, selling things on a live auction on YouTube. We have dabbled in it before, but it was always for charity. This was the first time we've done it to sell our own stock. But it was, it really was a success. We, we sold everything, which is awesome. And they went generally for more than we expected, which is fantastic. Um, there were some issues with uh, people bidding who had no intention of paying. A little bit of that went on, but it didn't really derail it. And we kind of expected that. We have some ideas for, for things to implement for next time, because we're going to try this again. It may become a regular feature of the channel. We will see. Um, but I thought I would make this video firstly to thank everybody who took part, to thank those who bid on items. And if you won items, thank you very much. Everything has been paid for um, and it's all going to ship out soon to its new owners. Um, so yes, thank you so much if you watched live and if you bid and got involved. Yeah, it was it was fun um, and, and we were blown away with the response. So I thought we would go through, everything is still laid out here, uh, all the different lots that you can see. I thought we'd just run through and recap what we managed to sell these items for. We managed to make over £700 in the hour and 45 minutes or so we were live, which is awesome. Um, like I said, more than we expected. Um, so yeah, let's run through the lots and I'll recap and let you know what we were selling and what it sold for. Okay, so the first couple of lots were kind of individual items. This was a pair of Tag Easy guns. Well, the tags are Tag Easy. I think the guns were something else. Uh, there you go, Quida. Uh, we used to use these when we had our clothing shop. Those sold for £10. Um, the next lot was just these shoe shapers uh, that we used to use when we were selling shoes to display them your pictures and those sold for £10 as well. Um, I've got everything written down here. This is Andrea's neat handwriting. Hey Jeff, you come to help? You're very waggy. You gonna help? Just come to say hello. Hello. How are you? You're struggling in this heat aren't you mate? Yeah, off you go. Go outside. It's a lot cooler out there. Off you go. Go on then, don't wee on me bubble wrap. <laughs> okay, so lot three was ah, uh, down here. There was a lot of interest in these Italian shoes. Uh, we sold them as one job lot, all of the pairs in there, and they ended up going for uh, 55 uh, plus the postage. Uh, there were some eBay mailers, that went for uh, 22, 200 of those. Um, a load more mailers and some clear poly bags went for 27, that's that big pile there. Um, lot six, sportswear, I think that's this one. This was a big lot of sports clothing uh, a bunch of it was new with tags and a bunch of it was vintage stuff, kind of half and half. Um, that ended up at 73, so that was great. Right, lot seven was the corduroy, so this big, big crate, you can see the size of it, of vintage clothing. Loads of really nice corduroy stuff in there. Oh, you wouldn't want to be wearing that in this heat, I tell you. Um, and sold at 70, which was awesome. Lot eight, another clothing lot. 
uh, with lots of denim in, went for 65. That's this lot, oh, this awesome jumper was, was in there. Look at that. See you coming in that one. How epic is that? So that lot went, which is great. Uh, where are we at? Um, a bunch of DVDs, where are they? I don't know where they went. There they are. Uh, those ended up, um, the winning bidder failed to pay, so we went back to the second highest, uh, and those are going out, which is great. Football shirts, now this lot had so much interest. So many people were keen to win this. It's all of the football shirts in here. So this is Leeds United, for example. There was some cricket stuff. Um, yeah, loads of football shirts. Uh, you can go back and watch the uh, the auction if you want. I think this was a particularly good one. What was that, AC Milan or Milan? There you go. I know nothing about football. Um, yeah, and that went for a hundred and eighty, hundred and eighty on the lot, which was awesome. Um, next lot eleven was oh yeah motocross stuff. Well, it was a mix of biker gear and motocross. So you've got biker jacket, some motocross trousers. These are really nice, and a couple of shirts. You might be able to hear the trains in the background because the back door's wide open. Yeah, so that lot. Uh, what did we sell that for? Let's have a look. 80. 80 pounds in the end, which is awesome. Put that back in there. And then we are lot 12 rugby shirts. I think that's this one. There's a load of brand new and sealed rugby shirts in here. There you go, you can see them underneath. And some ski wear. They're great big things, can't really show them well on camera. Uh, 50 pounds on that lot. A lot of ties went for 40, which was all of these loads and loads of brand new with tags, TM. Lewin ties went for 40, very pleased with that. And this, which was a real mixed lot of clothing, went for 36. Um, so the total 728, I think that's the total before the post as well, if I remember rightly, which is epic. Scorchio, <laughs> yeah, so that was everything. Those were all of the lots and as you can see everything sold and most of it went for more than we had expected which was an absolute bonus. Now the main reason we were doing this was the fact that we are moving house and we wanted to vastly reduce the backlog. A lot of this stuff we've had for way too long and we've kind of fallen out of love with it and um, it was really nice to just move it in one go. Um, there's going to be a lot of work boxing all of this up. Uh, the big lots will have to go via courier. I need to get some big boxes sorted. But very, very happy. I think we would like this to become a regular feature on the channel. Um, and we are going to do another one next week because that is full of sports clothing and I didn't realise. So I need to go through all of that and sort it out. I have a job lot of Teletubbies. I have some more stuff that I've sorted out. So we're going to do another one, probably with less lots, but we'll do another one next Sunday. So we'll have to do a preview video as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Watch the preview video, find out if there's anything in it you're interested in bidding on, and then come back on Sunday and have a bid. I think I need like a cold shower or something just drip in. Anyway, I will link a video up here. Please check this one out if you would like to. There goes a train. Sounds like an intercity. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.